Three years ago, I posted a video to YouTube. It was a $50 versus $500 lightsaber comparison. I said in the video, if you want to see a different version, a more like scaled up version, I'll do that. Finally, it's here. It's a little bit late. Three years. It's, it's been a minute. And just like before, this video might be a little bit long, but I do want to go over the most important things in good, big, deep detail because there's a lot i get a lot of questions do you know what i mean get a lot of questions asking about a lot of different stuff so i'm going to try and answer everything in two quick disclaimers first of all this is not me comparing two companies and telling you what i think you should spend your money on i'm never going to do that i've never done that on youtube you buy what you want bruv like i'm just informing you like and secondly depending on what version you get of what thing where you live in the world delivery all that stuff it might go over 500 dollars a little bit it might be under a thousand it might go over a thousand. You get what I'm trying to say? The title is purely for aesthetic YouTube algorithm purposes. You know what I mean? Let's start the video. And this is the $500 lightsaber. And it's from Saber Trio. If you've been following me, have you seen videos? You know, Saber Trio, it's a one-stop shop. You spend X amount of money. In this case, it was $500. For me, it was a little bit over because I'm in the UK. Delivery and tax, you know what I'm saying. You go to their website. You pick what design you want. In this case, this is the Saber Trio Aaron. You do your configuration. Do you want base lit? Do you want NeoPixel? Both Sabers in this video, of course, are NeoPixel. You pick what internals you want. CFX, Crystal Focus 10, or Profi. This is CFX. In fact, both Sabers, again, are CFX. You can, of course, do your, like, your basic customization. Just like, for example, I got this button gold. When I power the Saber on, regardless of colour, it will light up red. You could do a few things, you know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much it. You go to the site, different sabers, you can buy different models, pick one, pick the internals, you pay for it, and you wait. Right now, in 2024, to the best of my knowledge, it is between a six and 12 week wait. Obviously, at any point, things can change with delivery speeds, I'm just saying. As you can see, it's got a black brushed finish. I do want to say, and throw it out there, because I know there'll be one person who says it, if you don't like this particular design, they have others. Do you know what I mean? I'm just using this version for this video only, just so you can see like what kind of thing you're gonna get. Obviously, if you don't like this model, it's cool, there's other ones. And this is the $1,000 lightsaber. This is my Doctor Strange custom lightsaber. It started off its early life as a flagship lightsaber from KR Sabers, which as a company are completely different from Saber Trio, despite selling lightsabers. They're very much a DIY store. So you go to their website, you basically find which lightsaber you want. Most of the time, they will come empty. They do sell ones that are installed, but for the purpose of this video, because I did buy a flagship lightsaber, it was completely empty. There was nothing. It was a tube, no buttons, nothing. Because the idea is, it's a DIY store. You buy it, you, you send it to an installer, which is what I did with this bad boy, or you do it yourself, which I definitely cannot do. But yeah, I ordered the flagship from KR Sabres. They're in the UK, I'm in the UK, down the road in fact even, and it arrived literally in one day. And I shipped this to Solo Sabres in America, Jeremy the owner, He's done everything. What Jeremy has done with this saber still blows my peanut brain. There's so much going on. In fact, I said it a few times, I sent him this. This one PNG. Oh, we have so much acid work on this saber. We got his famous quotes. We got the Sanctum logo. We got the Eye of Agamotto. We got his face. We got mystic symbols. We got a lot of stuff going on. We have a nice red leather wrap. I asked Jeremy if he could do something like to kind of simulate, you know, his cloak. And we have this centerpiece. I asked Jeremy, is there any way you could like incorporate the time stone? Because uh, um, Doctor Strange is my favorite hero ever across everything. He's a big deal to me. Hence the saber. I asked him, could you put like the time stone in here? And he got the piece, the add on piece. He installed it uh, himself. And I also said, went a little bit further. I said, like, the time stone is always green. Can you make it always green? So he done that for me. He went crazy on this saber. And here's the other thing the delivery, I can't remember how many, to be honest, I can't remember how many days it took for the saber to arrive to him. But when he had the saber in seven days, I had this bad boy. That speed is outrageous. And again, this is CFX, this is two buttons. Now, let's start the proper comparisons. Side by side, they are completely different sabers. The acid work on the Strange is unbelievable. Not knocking the saber to Aaron, I think it looks very, very sick. It's pretty much what you think a lightsaber will look like. I do wanna like compare as many things as possible so you know what to spend your money on. Because there's a lot of like low-end sabers medium, high-end, and then like prestige kind of thing. I would say this is a high-end lightsaber. $500, it might even go to $600, depending on like what customization you do. And of course, you know, this, I mean, this is what I consider to be my crown jewel. This is my favorite lightsaber in my collection for many reasons. Like you watching this video, you could buy this 
the exact same thing. If you hear all the sound fonts on it, you could set it up to be the exact same lightsaber. And to be honest, aside from a few little dings that I know when I've dropped it and stuff like that, I'd probably never be able to tell the difference. No one in the planet has this saber. No one. Jeremy also does a thing which is really, really nice. When he makes a saber, he, he kind of says, I'm not going to make anything like that because this is for me. This is the Doctor Strange lightsaber that he made for me, which is really amazing. I That's one of those things you kind of can't really pay for if you know what i mean if you're into that thing this is special man I, I said this before this might be crazy if i had to sell my entire collection but keep this i genuinely genuinely would with saber trio it was very easy you go to the site you buy it you can choose cfx or profi however there is a catch with that and you could do the same thing with jerry of course you can ask him can you put cfx can you put profi he could probably put other things in there other soundboards for me I think CFX and Pro-V, they're the best too. With the custom saber though, uh, he put special switches. These switches, yes, you can illuminate them, but they do come as standard. You cannot change them. These switches were very specific. I wanted it low profile. Jeremy done that with the gold finish as well. And the main thing, especially when it comes to pro -fee, So when a saber comes with CFX, right? You can put any sound font on there. Just do a little bit of research on YouTube. It is super easy. I swear to you. If I can do it, you can do it. So I have these both set up completely different. However, if you got Profi from Saber Trio, you will get their like standard package, exactly the same as CFX. But with Profi, you do need to learn Profi. It is no joke. I've been loving lightsabers for like six, seven years now. I'm never messing with Profi, fam. Like, it's just too much. The coding, it is no joke. You can genuinely blow up your saber, bro. It's a long thing. You don't want to mess with Profi unless you really into like coding and proper, all that in-depth stuff, which I mean, I like it, but I can't do it. Do you know what I mean? You got to know what you can do kind of thing. With solo sabers though, if you ask for Profi and you wanted a rainbow blade, but when you swing it, it turns green. When you hit stuff, the rainbow turns to oh, I fucking know, flame blade, bruv. He can do it. So with both, if they come CFX, they're going to both come with a standard package, which you cannot change. However, uh, solo sabers, Jeremy, he can change anything you want if you're really unsure with like editing CFX. Even though I personally think it is pretty easy, man. After I'd say an hour, you know what you're doing. But if you got either of them in Profi, it's a different experience. You can't ask Savi Trio to change anything. It's coming as a preset package. You must learn the software, or if your friend in the community knows how to do it, that's a dub as well, I guess. But with this, regardless of the soundboard, you can literally ask Jeremy to put anything on it and he will do it for you. It will be the perfect setup for you. Like this has the three custom Kyberphonic Doctor Strange sound fonts, which we collabed on, which are still my favorite sound fonts. This came as a package. Yes, I wiped the package clean and put my own stuff on it, but you get what I'm trying to say. As for the internals of the Saber Trio, there's not really much to it. The battery doesn't come out. So it's always gonna be in there. You do have a nice uh, charging port. It's very easy to get to, but you cannot take the battery out and it does not have a kill key. You can easily get to the SD card. So again, adding sound fonts, if you've got CFX, super easy. And that is genuinely as far as the chassis will allow me to pull it out. You don't wanna be pulling this thing out because it's not meant to come out any more than what it is now. With the custom saber, however, Jeremy literally made a custom Doctor Strange chassis. You've got symbols, you've got lights flashing, it's going crazy, no one on the globe has this internal thing and it really does sell the saber especially i've given it to friends and stuff they're kind of they really are wowed by how like premium it looks because in person it really does look it of course you can get to the sd card you do have a removable battery which i think is better than the saber chair because i can swap batteries in and out if i'm going to comic con or whatever i'm doing it is super easy i always prefer a removable battery. Now we'll power both of the sabers on individually and then side by side. I'm just saying right now, brightness wise, they are identical. Sound wise, they are identical. I'm just showing you a lot because I want to show everything, but I promise you, regardless of this stupid audio equipment, they sound the same. Same with the camera. They're the same level of brightness. I promise you they are in person. You can't hear a difference. You can't see a difference. <laughs>
just like throwing it out there in person they sound identical some sound fonts do sound a little bit louder than others but in person they are the same i don't know how the equipment's going to pick it up but yeah just thought i'd mention that as i'm doing this you have no idea what you've unleashed here today <laughs>
I wouldn't duel with any Neopixel Saber. If you want proof, me and Fulcrum and the Force, we made the video. We smashed a blade until it exploded so you can see how hard you can like quote unquote duel with it. I wouldn't duel with either of these, but if I had to, I would duel with this because if I'm being honest, I'm not breaking a $1,000 saber. You know what I'm trying to say? So if you're going to spend this amount of money, prepared to like think in your head, this is a shelf queen. You know, you're going to put it right at the top, cream of the crop kind of thing. Show you, mate. Maybe you go Comic Con kind of thing. I personally wouldn't even risk that, mate. But you know, we move. You know, it's up to you, bro. I would never duel or hit anything with a Neo Blade, anyways. And I would never mess around with this. This is pure shelf queen. And Jeremy literally told me, of course, you gotta be gentle, man. You gotta caress it. You know what I'm saying this is a banger. Do you know what I mean? I can't lie. This is God tier for me. 10 out of 10. Saber Cho, uh, they're on the top of the mountain. By the way, I think on the other side of the mountain is KR Sabers. So. I know I'm not comparing companies, I'm just in comparing two sabers in different price points. I do want to throw out there though, I've spoken directly to Saber Trio, amazing customer service, very friendly. I've literally met KR Sabers in person at Star Wars Celebration, I'm a huge fan, amazing guy, and again, amazing customer service. And Jeremy, we're going to get to Jeremy in a minute, because I do think that level of customer service outbeats anything that I've actually ever seen. But we'll, we'll get there in a minute. But this is truly 10 out of 10 and it's God tier. If you want your first very, very high level saber, I can't explain it yet, the feeling of it, it is built to perfection. It might be the one that's the cheaper one on this video, but if you own a saber cherry saber, you know what I'm saying. This is prestige fam. You go to the site, you buy one and it's in your hand. You don't have to do anything else, man. You got If you don't even want to mess around with CFX, you want the standard package, which is very, very good. Some banging sound fonts. Don't sleep on it, bro. I'm making it sound like it's some budget, quick thing. It really ain't, man. The best sound font makers on the market have teamed up with Saber Trio. You're going to get amazing stuff on there, so don't sleep on it. But you spend your $500, $600-ish kind of thing, you're going to get a premium prestige lightsaber. I promise you, it sounds so good. It feels so good. And it is so well manufactured, man. I've got like four saber chairs, man. I've never had one single tiny weenie issue. One problem. Nothing, bruv. Apart from DHL, who battered my box. But again, they packaged it so well, it was, wasn't an issue. But if you've been in this hobby for a minute now, and you want a prestige next level saber, uh, this is it, man. This is what you get. Obviously, you don't like this model? It's cool, man. There's plenty of others. Yeah, this is the Saber Chair Vulcan, and they're both the same, man. Same package, two buttons, CFX, all the sound fonts are exactly the same, priced pretty much the same, and yeah, you, there's loads of models, man. So you can just go on the site, pick one, and you're gonna be very happy. But if you want something that is one of a kind, no one has this, and that feeling cannot be bought, bruv. Like, I'm just being real. Doctor Strange is my favorite thing ever. To have this, it's kind of cured my lightsaber itch. Like, I've not been like too gassed or excited for any other saber since I bought this. Yes, it is ridiculously expensive. Like, you gotta pay for the hill, ship it, customization, shipping it back. It's expensive, it's no joke. For me though, I love it. This is worth every single penny in my opinion. Every single thing on this has been customized to perfection of what I wanted. Like, I gave an idea to Jeremy and he created this, which no one else has. And he can do that with anything. You want CFX? Cool, done. You want a crystal chamber? Cool, done. You want Profi? Cool. You want rainbows? Do you know what I'm saying? It can be done. And I'm not joking, I will put his YouTube channel in the description down below. He is uploading videos pretty much daily, sometimes multiple. And those videos are not only like his his work, man. Do you know what I mean? So you can see the madness that he's done. Some of these sabers I've never seen before. They look absolutely unbelievably sick. What I was saying with regards to the customer service, this is what no one else has done for me. When I sent this to Jeremy, be, sorry, before I sent this to Jeremy, he asked me exactly what I wanted. He gave me the full price layout. I confirmed it. I sent it to him, he gave me confirmation it arrived. Then he did a 3D mock-up of how this is gonna look with the chassis. I was like, damn, this is like, pimp my ride level shit, bro, you know what I'm saying? He's doing everything, showing you, are you happy with this? Are you cool with this? And I was like, yeah, green light, man. Like, I sent him this. I'm very happy with this. As soon as he finished a saber, he gave me confirmation, but then every time he makes a saber, he makes a customer video for YouTube. So he will upload the video to YouTube. This is on YouTube as well, which I saw before it arrived. And I'm telling you, that feeling, yeah, it's really sick. Basically, him in the chair explaining the Sabre, what it does, what it can do, how to charge it, how to remove the battery, just what's going on. 
for your specific lightsaber. It's also awesome because everyone else can watch it and get a taste of his work and you know what I'm trying to say, that level of customer service is nowhere else. I promise you, I, I've bought from every single saber company, bro. I, I mean it, from the budget ones, to medium, to all the names, Vader's Vault, Saber Forge, Saber Show, you get it, I've bought from everyone. I've never had customer service like that before, and that is something that you're spending this amount of money on, you need it. And I, I'm, I still, I'm still over the moon by this, man. Like, the Saber Show, hold up. This is God tier, but this is beyond God tier. This is on a level that I don't rank. It's something that in my collection, in my house, this is one of my favorite things. Like, do you know what I'm saying, bro? This is, I think I'm in love. They're both brilliant and amazing in their own separate ways, but they are for two separate things. Sabitro has great customer service, fast delivery. You will have to wait X amount of weeks. We'll get your Sabre. It's built to perfection. I promise you, it's so good. Bright, it sounds amazing. It's everything you want. This is a, this is a high-end Sabre. It just doesn't look it because it's next to this. If you have a Sabre show, you know what I'm trying to say. This is, this is prestige, man. I got four of the bad boys for a reason. This is a one of one. It is very expensive, but it did come with the greatest customer service experience that I've ever had in any Sabre. It's got the best everything on it. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, if there's anything you want to know about anything of these two bad boys or just Sabres in general, let me know down below. I will try and answer it and I'll, of course, be as honest as I can. Just chuck them down below. I know this video is going to be stupid long, but I wanted to cover as much as I can and just show you guys what's up. If you made it to this point, you lot are truly the OGs. I appreciate you all. Big up everyone. All the links in the description. See you in a bit. Peace.